eraser tool. Let us now learn about the eraser tool. The eraser tool can be used to remove the colors or the transparent part of any photo. However, to do this, it is essential that the layer is unlocked. If the eraser is dragged over the unwanted pixels, those pixels are deleted or made transparent. When we select the eraser tool, multiple options become available on the option bar. Using the option brush, the brush size and hardness can be selected. Under the option mode, we can find brush, pencil and block, these three options. The option brush pointer is used for soft edges, pencil for hard edges and block is used for square shapes. Opacity lets you decide the level of transparency. A value of 100% will destroy the pixel completely, while 50% will decide the transparency. When we select the square mode, the options opacity and flow become unavailable. In pencil mode, only the option opacity is available. If the value of opacity is set to a lower value, then if there is any color on the image background layer, then it becomes transparent. However, if you reduce the flow and move the brush constantly on the same area of the image, then the background color becomes more visible. Now consider these two images. Let us remove some part of this image using the eraser tool so that we can see the image part in the background. You will observe that as we are erasing, the image in the background starts becoming visible. When we use a background eraser tool, the pixels in the background are either removed or made transparent. When we erase an image and we pick any color on the background of the image, then the center point of the eraser, which is called the crosshair, selects that color. And in the circular area of the image, it deletes the pixel of that color. However, if the crosshair accidentally picks another color while being dragged across the image, then pixels of that color get destroyed. To avoid these mistakes, there are certain options available with which to amend them. You will observe the three options sampling continuous, sampling once and sampling background swatch on the option bar. Let us now understand each option. The option continuous is selected by default. This option lets you destroy pixels of a specific color in the background. The color picked up by the crosshair will be destroyed. But if the background has a mixture of multiple colors and it selects a new color, then each time it will destroy all the pixels of that specific color. The crosshair picked up by the grey color in the background of this model's photo and erased it. But then it picked the black color of her hair and started to erase that too. To avoid such situations, let us use another option. Consider that the background has one common color. At such times, Choosing the second option, sampling once, will be more convenient. This will ensure that after selecting the color, if you are dragging the mouse over any other area, then accidentally no other color will get picked and erased. A specific color in the background was picked up and it was erased wherever it was present in the image. 
Sometimes we face some difficulties in picking up a certain color in the crosshair. At such times, select the option Background Swatch. After selecting this option, using a color picker tool, pick the unwanted color from the background of the image. However, to do so, it is essential that this color is present in the switch color palette under background color. When we drag the mouse across the image, the pixels of this color will be selected and deleted. Reduce the value of tolerance using the slider. This will soften the point of the eraser and pixels of similar colors present in the image will not be selected. There are some more options on the option bar which let you delete the unwanted pixels on the background. The option limits is very important. There are three options under limit. Contiguous, Find Edges and Discontiguous. Let us see how these options work while erasing the background. Discontiguous is the option selected by default. In this case, the pixels having a color close to the color selected in the crosshair are also deleted. However, Discontiguous deletes only the exact color pixels coming in the circular range of the eraser. If the option Sampling Once is selected and then if a pixel color is selected, then the pixels having that color all across the image will be deleted. When the option Contiguous is selected, only the selected color pixels in the crosshair range will be deleted. The rest of the pixels will remain untouched even if they are of the same color. The option Find Edges finds the edges of the objects under the crosshair and deletes other parts of the image except the edges. If you observe this image, you will notice that the part of image other than the edges of the model's hair is deleted. Another option present on the option bar is Protect Foreground Color. Select the color that you do not want to be deleted using the eyedropper tool. This color will be now present in the Foreground Color box under Color Swatch. Background Eraser tool will delete all the colors from the foreground of the photo other than the selected color. Now let us give a new background to this photo. Open a new image file and keep that photo as the background of this image and then resize it.